So we've looked at uh, different units in the metric system. We've seen the millimeter, the centimeter, the meter, and the kilometer. And I've put down some reference for each of these units. So the millimeter is approximately the width of a dime along the edge. The centimeter is the width of your fingernail. And getting a little bit larger, we move on to the meter, which would be about the width of a single door. And the kilometer, we said is approximately the distance from Lowheed Highway and 222nd. That's at the Haney Bypass on the west end of town to about Lowheed and 228th, which is Valley Fair Mall at the east end of town. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at, we have all these different measurement, measurements, the units from millimeter to kilometer. And when we're looking at different lengths that we want to measure, what would be an appropriate unit to use for measuring these lengths. So we're going to take a look at some different and we're going to decide what units would we use to measure these following items. Let's look first at picking a unit that we would use to measure the length of your backyard. A millimeter, well that's the width of a dime, that would probably not be an appropriate unit to measure because millimeters are too small. Same problem with centimeters. You probably wouldn't want to figure out how many fingernails wide your yard is. The unit is simply too small. And unless you live on a massive farm somewhere, you probably wouldn't use a kilometer to measure the length of your yard. So a meter is a more appropriate unit for measuring the length of your yard. Well, let's look at the length of your calculator. The calculator is a lot smaller than your yard, so we've already said that a kilometer is too big for your backyard, so certainly you would not measure your length of your calculator in a kilometer. A meter is probably too big as well, unless you have some ginormous calculator. Not likely. Um, the millimeter, the width of a dime, probably a little too small, um, so more than likely you'd be wanting to measure your calculator in units that are centimeters, approximately the width of your fingernail. How about the width of your eraser? Well now we're talking about some things that are pretty small. The width of your eraser, um, this may be the eraser on the end of your pencil, or maybe it's just your the standard eraser that you can buy, but either way this is a very small measurement. You would likely use millimeters units that are about the width of a dime. The distance from Maple Ridge to Vancouver. Well, that's, that's quite a large distance. Uh, we would need as large a unit as we have here. Uh, the millimeter and the centimeter and the meter are all very small. We would want to use the kilometer. Notice the spelling of, of kilometer. It doesn't like it here, it underlines it. It wants to use the spelling like this, but this is the American spelling of meter, M-E-T-E-R. The Canadian spelling of the meter is M-E-T-R-E. -E. How about your elevation or your height above sea level? Well, usually elevations and height are measured in meters. Um, most of the residential area I in the Fraser Valley in the Lower Mainland would be under 200 meters in elevation. Um, so we would not use kilometers to measure height, that distance is too great. And millimeters and centimeters are simply too small of a unit to measure our elevation. So elevation above sea level measured in the unit of the meter. Again, it doesn't like that one, so I'm going to add that to the dictionary. And in our last example here, we'll look at the circumference of a pop can. Remember, circumference is the distance around the outer part of the circle. So you imagine your pop can sitting on the bottom of your desk, on the top of your desk. The distance around the outside of the bottom of that can would be the circumference. And likely we would want to not use kilometers and meters. Those units are too big. 
uh, probably the millimeter is a little bit too small. We would want to measure the circumference of a pop can in centimeters, the unit of the centimeter. So when you're choosing your, your units, if you would use, a, uh, if you have a very small measurement to use, uh, probably the millimeter is the unit that you would like. If you use a dime to measure the, the approximate length, if you, measuring it in units that are about the width of your fingernail, in other words, the centimeter is appropriate, then we would use that. Moving on to larger objects, uh, we would use the meter if it would make sense to use units that are approximately the width of a door. And we're, when we're dealing with our largest lengths, we would use the unit of the kilometer.